Hi Elke, this is your piano lesson. It's a review of this piano lesson. And if you remember, what this one was about was two syllables in the word seven, so that one through six gets one beat, seven gets one beat, but played double. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it sounded like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to apply that pattern to the chord pattern that you know for your Sunday rehearsal. So, what we're going to do is on the seventh beat, the seventh note, we're going to double the note so that it'll sound like this. Now it's very important to count it so that you know that when you get to seven, you double the note. So here it is with the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Now the reason I said I called this lesson variations is because that is a different variation of the chord pattern that you know, but it isn't the correct way to play it. It can be played that way, or it can be played the previous way. It's a different way to play it, and there's no right way. It just gives you the opportunity to make a change in the pattern to make it more interesting. That's the first half of the lesson. The second half of the lesson involves playing the whole pattern with only a right hand, so that the thumb does the E instead of the left hand. And that looks like this. One last thing. When you do it with your one hand, the, the, the action of the hand is to rock the hand back and forth, which is very different from individual fingers and sounds completely different than, for example, because there's less space between the notes and they, smoke, they flow more smoothly. By the way, your rehearsal on Sunday, you did your timing perfectly and you went from this to the repeat without any hesitation. That was very good and only possible because you practiced. Tell that you practiced. So that's it for this lesson.